Today we have a new addition to our test bench, the Faimina by Faema. This voluminous dual boiler espresso machine comes equipped with a rotary pump and some interesting features, such as the ability to brew filter coffee. We've put the Faimina through extensive testing in a detailed video in German and a comprehensive blog post, also in German. But here in this English video, we are giving you a summary of our findings. Faema is stepping into the home espresso machine market with the Faemina. Recently, the company has been especially popular among home baristas with their iconic brew group, the Faema E61. Meanwhile, their focus with machines like the E71, the President and the Prestige has been on commercial espresso machines. With the Faemina, Faema is looking to build on the success of their brewing group and is positioning a single group espresso machine in the high-end segment. This impressive espresso machine comes at a hefty price of 6,000 euros, around 7,000 francs. The name Faemina with their diminutive ina may seem at odds with both the price and the machine size. Weighting a solid 37 kg with dimensions of 41 cm high, 51 cm deep and 37 cm wide, the name doesn't quite fit. And with the portafilter in place, it reaches even 62 cm. So the diminutive might not be suitable for the dimensions, but it does match the machine's functionality. The Faemina's main strength is that it brews good, and consistent coffee. You won't find flow control or pressure profiling in this elegant giant, but it does offer a smart pre-brewing function, setting it at least apart from competitors like the similar priced GS3 by Lamazocco. Plus, the Faimina can brew filter coffee in principle. So let's dive in and take a detailed look at this machine. Let's talk about the positioning and classification of the Faimina. Yes, the Faimina is a single group espresso machine. And yes, Faema is aiming to make a more substantial mark in the home segment. However, there's a discussion to be had about whether the Faemina might indeed be more of a single group commercial espresso machine. After all, its internal components certainly suggest so. The Faema utilizes the internals we know from models like the President and others, ensuring excellent performance and making the Faema a consistent and high quality espresso machine. From brewing to steaming performance, what Faema delivers is top notch and would be at home in any commercial establishment. I'd even go as far as to say it's perfect for small coffee shops, for small coffees and bakeries if the Faemina itself weren't so massive. Finding a spot for it is the first challenge. Of course, the Faima also performs perfect on the home barista bar. One of the strongest selling points for this espresso machine is its astonishingly fast heat up time for the boiler. The 0.6 liter brew boiler is suited right above the portafilter, ensuring that it heats up quickly too. Moreover, the Faemina directs energy primarily into the brew boiler, making it ready to use in just seven minutes but if you want to brew a cappuccino, you have to wait a few minutes more. This rapid heat up time is on pair with many thermoblocks. I have to add, after testing many espresso machines with the Faema E61 brew group, which need a good 25 minutes to heat up, I still have to get used to a Faema warming up in just seven minutes. Let's talk about temperature and pre-wetting. The Faemina's consistent brewing temperature and smartly implemented pre-brewing, pre-wetting function contributes to its ability to prepare excellent espresso. The Faemina is a reliable machine, a fact repeatedly confirmed in our measurements. Both the Café Mara protocol and the much more detailed WBC World Barista Championship protocol for temperature espresso machine testing with the high frequency between extractions demonstrated the espresso machine's high temperature consistency. With the VVC protocol, the consistency of the espresso machine's extraction is compared from second 4 to 25. The Faemina showed strong consistency and only a standard deviation of 0.49 across all extractions. The PID temperature control can be operated via the app or directly here through the control in the brew group. It's impressive that the Faemina was able to brew in the correct temperature after just seven minutes. This can be clearly seen in the Café Mecha temperature protocol. Note, 
that all measurements were taken using the SCASE 2 device. The Faimina features a pre-brewing process with reduced flow rate. This is accomplished through diversion that channels the water through a 0.6 cm narrowed hose to the brew group when the function is activated. This allows the coffee puck to be saturated with water before the brew water itself is added at full pump power through the larger inlet pipe. It's a bit unfortunate that although the flow rate is reduced, nearly 3 milliliters per second are still delivered to the coffee against pressure. This could be less to make better use of this function. The control of the water diversion, as well as the ability to completely post water supply, are also important features to utilizing the Faeminas filter coffee option. The condition for that is a precise flow meter, which enables programming through five buttons on the Faimina. While this may sound standard, many dual boiler and heat exchanger espresso machines with Faima E61 brew group do not offer this. A properly functioning volume control is a necessity in the commercial segment and the Faimina's flow meter is another plus in this regard. Next important point on our list is the steam performance while foaming. The 2.6 liter steam boiler provides powerful milk swelling. To test the steam power and also the heating speed, we use 300 ml cold water and we managed to heat it up in 20 seconds. For comparison, the quick mill Essence takes over 40 seconds for this. The milk steams smoothly and once again, we find that with this performance, the Faimina further proves that it can fit well in a commercial setting. What comes with the machine and how is the machine built? Included are a single and a double porter filter equipped with classical Faima baskets. These baskets are of adequate quality but could be enhanced with precision baskets. The 58 mm temper is of high quality but does not flush with the provided baskets with a rim distance of 0.85 mm. Also included are connections for permanent water supply and a drainage hose since the rotary pump can be connected to the fixed water supply. Speaking of the rotary pump it pours quietly, reaching just 51 decibels, which is remarkable quiet. The button tones of the machines were louder, but could be fortunately be turned off. Of all the machines, construction is good, with a few minor exceptions. Even with Faema's larger espresso machines, I'm surprised at how poor the feel of some plastic parts is. For instance, the steam activation lever has noticeable seams, which is simply unappealing. What really contrasts with the machine, however, is the plastic drip tray. It just doesn't match. The plastic is thin and feels out of place on this heavy machine. The plastic grid on top of the machine might be excused as a protection against scratches, but it's also not visually appealing. Additionally, the screw covers directly beneath the grid are not fixed and slide down easily when the grid is moved. These minor flaws, however, do not overshadow the overall good craftsmanship and aura of the machine. Last but not least, the filter coffee performance of the Faimina. The Faimina has a brewing program for filter coffee. The integrated flow meter combined with control allows for programming a pre infusion stage and a specific number of pulses. While it's possible to set how long the pre-brewing lasts and how much water is used for the main brewing, you can only program the number of pulses and the last pulse. Therefore, to calculate the total brewing time, the drainage time must also be taken into account. For a total volume of 300 ml, for example, the last pulse could be given at 1.4 minutes. The brewing performance is largely determined by the shower's distribution ability of the water and the control of the pulse programming. In our case, the shower delivers water slightly unevenly which is why the coffee on the corresponding side of the filter was swirled more. It's handy that the drip tray can be raised and lowered with a simple grip, so at least the matching filter and jug can fit under the brew group. Faema itself sells a machine filter set for the machine, but in our test it proved too wide. A more cylindrical format, like the filter basket developed by Scott Rao, to be, to, be, to be discussed in one of our next videos, seems to show significantly better properties for filter coffee brewing with an espresso machine. The recommended filter here, which is sold or um, recommended by Faema, does not wet the coffee in the outer areas, resulting 
a bit in an uneven coffee extraction. Nevertheless, I think the ability to adjust the pulses means that with some optimization, a good filter coffee can be brewed. At home, however, I would always prefer to use a manual filter and jug and brew the coffee through clean swirling and targeting pouring with my kettle. But if in a commercial setting with espresso machines with multi-groups, or multiple faeminas maybe, or if a seldom used espresso machine is available, then the filter function is certainly an interesting option. Something really surprising to me is the low energy consumption. One might assume that such a large espresso machine must consume a lot of electricity. Indeed, it does when operating at full power with the steam boiler on. However, when turned off, the Thaimina, thanks to its short heating time, only consumes 0.144 kilowatt hour for five extractions, according to our Kaffeemacher protocol. An espresso in this scenario, including heating, consumes 0.1 kilowatt hour. When we turn on the steam boiler, we reach a value of 0.35 kilowatt hour, which is remarkably low considering the large steam boiler. If we turn on the steam boiler, we consume 0.2.9 kilowatt per hour for one espresso extraction. A cappuccino, on the other hand, consumes 0.3.1 kilowatt per hour. Let's sum it up with the conclusion on the Faemina by Faema. The Faemina is an interesting espresso machine. Many features indicate that it's suitable for small-scale commercial use, caterings or even larger offices with coffee-loving employees. The latter will appreciate the fast heating time, which can also be programmed via the app. For commercial use, the rapid heating time is a less essential, but still a nice addition. For commercial use, the rapid heating time is less essential, but it's still a nice addition. The overall good performance regarding temperature and steam quality are crucial prerequisites for brewing many good coffers in a short time. For private use, the size and especially the price might be counter arguments, though the fast heating time and espresso quality are certainly pros. However, there are other machines with more flexibility and flow control options for significantly less money on the market. If you don't value these aspects and are looking for a robust machine with unique aesthetics and good performance, you will find the Faemina to be an excellent espresso machine. That's all about the Faemina by Faema. If you enjoyed the video and find it useful that we make more videos in English, we appreciate a like and support for the channel. Thank you. And as always, I wish you a good week, a good day, a good night and a good coffee.